Are you imagining it? Are you imagining it? You must be imagining it because the chief scientist with the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson, is here, and we're in the IS. What are we doing this morning? We're going to do a little combustion. We're okay. going to do some, some really cool stuff. Put First thing, on. put the glasses on. Get these gloves on. You're going to okay. need them for extra grip. I've got two um, iron spheres here. Spheres. One of them is really rusty, and the other is just not quite as rusty. What I want you to do is I want you to pick them up and smash them together. These are like cannonballs? Yeah, actually they are. Yep. When you do that, you're taking kinetic energy and converting it into sound waves and the shock that you feel in your hands. Mm -hmm. But nothing really exciting is happening here. So I'm going to take this one from you. Hold on to that one. That one has rust on it, iron oxide, OK? This is aluminum foil. Aluminum is a very highly reactive metal. But this has an oxide layer on the outside. So this is not, if we just push them together, nothing's going to happen. We need to break through the oxide layer on the aluminum to reveal the aluminum, which will react with the iron oxide in a fairly dramatic way. Let's do it. So I'm going to, you got the grippy gloves. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have you do it. Just away. smash okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yes. Harder. <laughs> Smart. Okay, so this is actually called a thermite reaction. If you look at this, I've actually blown off some of the aluminum foil. It's a microscale reaction. I mean, it's, it's just this tiny little amount is actually reacting. But um, it's called a thermite reaction when the aluminum, aluminum reacts with the iron oxide. So you can, You've got really, a technique down. You, you can do really sweep if, if you do it. If you do it enough, yeah. get some really nice sparks. But that's a microscale version. I thought we'd step it up a bit. Okay. I actually have some thermite, aluminum, and iron oxide mixed on like a giant sparkler. Now, the interesting thing about thermite is it provides its own oxygen. All right. So here. I, I, I think ahead. I see where you're hold, going. Hold that at the very end of, yeah. It, 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 this, is like, this is like a super sparkler. All right. Okay? Is this one you can purchase or something you made it's at home? Not, you can, not one that you can purchase. Okay. I can. <laughs> but what we're going to do is you're going to light it up, and I want you to just place it in the water. All right? Here we go. Let's start the end. Yeah. Let's stick it in there. Fire in a hole. So check that out. It provides its own oxygen. It will continue to burn underwater. It's actually generating a little hydrogen gas. We might see a few flames on the top if we bring it out. But it's really kind of cool. They use this sort of reaction to weld uh, copper cables underwater because it provides its own oxygen. It can combust, and it reaches a, a tremendous uh, temperature there. That's wow. molten iron yeah. on the end. Now, we stepped it up from the micro scale to like the macro scale. Now we're going to jumbo size it. Oh, boy. Okay, jumbo so, scale. But for this, but for this, tell uh -oh. me. Here. We need take, jumbo take some, protection. Take some face shields here. Right. Let me walk you through what this looks like over here. Oh, OK. I've this got, is probably uh, a good time to tell people, don't try this at home. But if you want to come down to the Imagination Station, they're open today. It is Saturday. And if you bring a kid who lives in Lucas County with an adult, that kid gets in free with a paid adult admission on Saturdays only. Exactly. What I have here, two clay pots. The clay pots have a hole in the bottom, OK? This one I've covered up with a piece of cardboard. What we're going to do is I'm going to put this on the stand. Beneath it, I have some dry sand. This is the thermite mixture. Aluminum plus iron oxide. OK. All right. We're going to add this to the top container. Then we are going to add our giant sparkler. And this time, we are, we're going to get away quickly. OK. <laughs> OK? Because the thermite reaction will begin up here, and we should be able to form some molten iron. Let's do it. All right. So I'm actually I'm going to have you step out over there just Good in case. Idea. Just Good in idea. case. Just in case. He doesn't trust me at all. Well, it's like, you just leave. You'll, you'll just, see here. Just you'll go see here. far away. You'll see what happens. Once we get this down <laughs> inside the mixture, I'm going to step aside. Whoa. I think something broke already. Yep. It often breaks. Reaching temperatures over 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. All right? Now, down inside there, do you see that? that it's still, still happening up there, still going up. <laughs> We're going to hold this. off a bit. We're going to hold off a bit. <laughs> OK, down inside that sand, what we have is a clump of molten iron. Check that out. Yeah. Still glowing. I'm not going to put it on the plate. It'll probably melt it. We can put it back in the sand there for the camera. OK. But thermite reaction, a tremendous amount of energy released when those two aluminum and iron oxide combine together. In fact, you know, railroad tracks, yeah. where they come in separate sections. We'll actually do a version of this in a crucible like that out in the field and form a blob of molten iron between the two tracks and then grind it flat. Excellent. So you have a flat surface for the tracks. But this is Carl's crucible. Yeah. So you have to come down here to check it out. You do. <laughs> All right. And that's how you imagine it.